Hey there, Libra. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the week of February 8th through the 12th. Um, thank you so much for liking. Please subscribe. And um, thank you for comments, too. All the support I get. Thank you very much. So we're going to start by calling in Divine White Light to surround us. And, you know, Libra, too. As Libra watches this reading, Calling in Libra's angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to give us messages for the sign of Libra. All right. This is the archetype deck. We're going to do it first and then a tarot spread and some oracle cards and tea leaves. Doing it a little different. Let me see. Make sure that light is on that. All right, I think that's probably pretty good. One more time. All right, Libra, this is a general reading, so you take it how it, and apply it, you know, how it, how it can be applied to your self, <laughs> to yourself. Hmm, let's do three, because this is, this is kind of interesting. Hmm. The self, the eternal child, or eternal child. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, let's put siren down there too. That makes sense. Something is sweet right now. Something is sweet right now or in the near future. We could look at this as like past to present to future. Um... The self is about understanding who you really are. And this goes beyond the personality of whatever you think your name is and your job is. It's beyond that. It's knowing who you are as a divine spark, as an outlet to let the divine express itself in different experiences and different people, the one consciousness that you are, the spark. Getting to know your soul, I would even think your higher soul, your higher self, whatever you call it. The eternal child, and they look the same, don't they? So, it's like, okay, if all of those little rainbow colors represent you, and they're on both cards, but then there's this, like, seed inside you. And it's inside with child hands, so... We can safely assume that this is your inner child and how it affects everything around it. Radiating effects from the inner child. And this one is radiating effects from the inner soul that is you, that is your consciousness. Wow, okay, so already some pretty, pretty deep things. Good things may have to do some inner child work. That's not always easy. <clears throat> I can look up. Um, also, shadow work would sometimes involve the inner child. You can look up inner child work on YouTube or Google. Let's get some wisdom of the oracles. After this, we will do it. And then, okay, so what I think progresses to the future is this and this and I think it goes like that with um eros being sensuality maybe even a gift coming to you and then the siren being this extremely attractive very persuasive person um that of course you're attracted to that you might have this uh passion for lust this stands for erotic. So, the inner child. Maybe there's some issues with the inner child and these issues. Maybe. That's just one, one theory. This could actually represent, be representing like a, a period in your life. People, places, actions. States, feelings. 
All right, wisdom from the Oracle deck, please. For our sign of Libra. Libra. All right. Wisdom from the Oracle, please. This deck might not want to be speaking. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm trying it over and over and over and it's okay. Maybe it's like it's not doing anything. So we have loyal heart on the bottom of the deck. This could apply to somebody in a relationship or um, a commitment of some sort to something, somebody. Having a loyal heart. Maybe when in the midst of the siren energy. So, these are your two cards, though. Interesting. You got practically the same card. Um, Wisdom from the Oracle deck. For, oh, who got that? Well, shoot. Being in flow. I think it was Cap Capricorn or Virgo. Virgo or Capricorn? One of those. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, by the book, you might know somebody who's master number 11, or you might be master number 11. We have the spiritual number 7 there too, which the eternal child and the self are very spiritual. By the book is doing things the right way, the conventional way, for sake of peace, to make people happy including yourself really because it'll make something flow with ease and this is go being in the flow maybe that's what it will make flow with ease to the sea to the sea so to the sea is about being in the flow going from i want to manifest this i can visualize it either put it on a board or do that in my head and um now i'm going to be in flow where we're going upstream, our vibration's getting higher, and what we want to manifest is coming true. And you know, this could be talking about a relationship and it, and it could be talking about a passion project. I see that with that too. All right, so we're gonna get the tarot and I'm gonna do a small spread in the middle of this for Libra, February 8th through the 12th. For Libra, please. All right, this is the issue card first. What is the issue? No communication, trouble with communication, issues with communication, challenge? No, don't do that to me. Too many, too many. Challenge or what could propel you forward or hold you back, possibly hold you back. What is the challenge? The challenge is Page of Cups. You're wanting something to have a new beginning, a new start, something emotional. This definitely either is like a family member or adding like an addition to the home or a marriage proposal or meeting somebody, starting something off. But there's some issue with communication Maybe it's communication of what that person wants versus what you want. And, and we can look at that in business too at the same time. There may be this financial situation. The Five of Pentacles is a temporary financial hardship, right? It's, it's a temporary thing. That's actually the definition of that one. So be happy that it is temporary. Woo, past. So in the past, we were planting our seeds planting our seeds, watching them grow, maybe wondering to yourself, was this even all worth it? 
look at all the work I've put in. I'm not, maybe some impatience here. Waiting for a sign, a message, communication. So what is the probable future? For Libra, please. I think this one wants to be a hangman. Waiting. So, like the energy of the Seven of Pentacles, this is a waiting energy. And maybe someone has to come around to seeing to a different perspective. Looking at something a different way and then this communication could be understood or this new start could be had. Could be incoming communication that you're just waiting on. I mean, I guess that's what I just said. <laughs> what is advice from spirit? Ooh, nice. Strength. If, when you feel like it's hard to have the courage to get through a situation or when it's just tough to keep persevering, we have the card of Leo strength coming up. That's what you're needing. And then Virgo, hangman for the near future. So we have some waiting. We have what feels like self-sacrifice and the strength and the courage and the bravery to get through times even though we're afraid. All right, let's get some tea leaves for you. And we're gonna end this reading for your week, for your weekly. Okay, for Libra, please. All right, so yeah, that's exactly what that is. Waiting for news, package or a letter. That's that. Horseshoe, good luck. Good luck. Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. We're just waiting for results. We're doing things by the book. That's why that's going to be good and, and consistent and for you, reliable. Grasshopper, with the erotic card. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Hmm, maybe having to do with that siren. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. All right, so to each their own. This is all going to be different to you, but I'm sending much love and light out to you all, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.